Mic going? Yeah, yeah, we gotta, we gotta talk about this right here. Just got finished reading comments on Twitter, right? Yeah, 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 man. You know, just got reading some comments on Twitter, right? And, uh, let me school some of y'all cats, right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we don't want to knock that over. So, yeah, check this out. So you see this comment, right? Chuck D put up a post of some greats. You know what I'm saying? Put up the, a post. Big Daddy Kane, Karis One, Rakim, right? And then this guy in the comments. Salute to you, my guy. No diss or nothing. But uh, going to say no gimmicks, this, etc. And I hear this all the time, especially when the Grammys... And the BT Awards, so on and so forth, so forth, come along. You know what I'm saying? It kind of reminds me that uh, people don't really either know or wasn't there. Okay? When they say things like, oh, man, oh, this hip-hop today ain't that. Oh, man, this hip-hop ain't this. Or, or they, you know what I'm saying? They playing this on the radio. This is trash. Right? What you're failing to realize is that... <laughs> It always been like this, right? Real rap was never, ever, ever played in mainstream on the radio, okay? Like, like check out check out this. Uh, I dug up this Jet Magazine, right? Who knows what Jet Magazine is, right? <laughs> if you wasn't there during those times, if you didn't grow up in the 70s or 80s, baby, or whatever, you don't know what I'm talking about. But that was a premier black magazine, right? And every, uh, whatever would came out with every week or whatever it was, they would have the top 20 singles. You know what I'm saying? And yes, they would put in there hip hop artists, right? But that did not reflect what was going on on your local radio station. You know what I'm saying? Unless you lived in major markets like New York, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. You know what I'm saying? So you didn't really know anything about major or, 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 or hardcore underground artists. You know what I'm saying? Cause I can remember man. And, and, and coming up in the nineties, right? I remember in the nineties, right? Okay. People now say, Oh man. Yeah. Back in the day, it was no gimmicks. It was no this, right? Like my man said, right? <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. Back in the early nineties, 91, 92, 93, whatever it was, right? You didn't hear. Nas, you didn't hear Mob Deep, you didn't hear Karis One, you didn't hear uh, Craig Craig Mack or anybody, whatever, whoever was out, right? You didn't hear none of that on the radio. You know what you heard? You heard MC Hammer, you heard Millie Vanilli, you know what I'm saying? Things of that nature. You know that's what you heard on the radio, right? So what I'm getting at right now is just it always been like this, and to get up here and people come cry. With, this is an empty argument that the music today is trash. You know what I'm saying? The music that you're talking about is mostly commercial music that's picked by the upper echelon elites. You see what I'm saying? They're still trying to hold on power or whatever it is. You know, now, now before, you know, the social media was their enemy, right? Streaming was their enemy. Now they... The major companies, right? These major management companies that are operating as record companies, basically, they tell the mainstream what to watch and see. They 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 dictate what's on these award shows, okay? So any hardcore rap, whatever, is going to stay underground like it's always been. This is not new. This is is a re most ridiculous argument that we get into all the time online. People always cry, man. Oh, man, trap, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever, man. But, yo, let me tell you something. I don't care if it's, if it's today or 20 years ago, 20 years from now. It's going to be basically the same. The heartbeat of music is always going to be underground, okay? People that want to make money and do all these other things with it are going to be at the top, okay? They're going to promote these other unsavory things at the top. You know what I'm saying? Like they're saying, like there's nothing new about 
relating street violence to rap music, okay? Anybody remember C. Dolores Tucker? She was a well-known grifter way before Candace Owens. She would get up there and talk about how bad rap music was and it was doing this to the community, right? Whole time she getting paid. You see what I'm saying? This is not new. Part of hip hop is relating your personal struggles and experience, right? It was basically the soul of the people that didn't have a voice. You see what I'm saying? The soul of the people that wanted to be heard, their struggles that need these stories that needed to be told. You know what I'm saying? But they want to blame music, which is the most ridiculous thing ever. Like violence and all of that just started when music started, right? Yes, these days violence can come from music much quicker than it used to back in the day, right? Because like I said before, you've seen some of my interviews and videos. A guy can go right now, pick up a, a whatever he has, his phone or whatever, make a rap video with his friends, dissing somebody down the block. Before you know it, on the six o'clock news, he's on the news and got his, brain, his brain's blown out. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. That can, that that is a bad part of hip hop. You know what I'm saying? But there's still so much good out there, man. So many artists out there. You know what I'm saying? Now, all you got to do is sit back and just have an open mind and get you a music account, man. iTunes, Spotify, Tidal, whatever it is, man. Look for something. Get on YouTube or whatever it is and find music that you like. Find underground artists that you like. Get on IG. Find underground artists that you like. This complaining about the old days and all of that just lets me know that you was never a real fan or you wasn't even there, man. Facts. Stop crying, man. Go find you someone. You know what I'm saying? Go, go, go to Spotify and check out Kirk State. You'll see. It's DJ Kirk Stay It's DJ Kirk Stay